on the front page there, bridging the gap. So the Supreme Court uh, petitions uh, um, with, uh, against Uhuru's victory, we're still waiting on the Supreme Court to determine those. But three things that uh, Jubilee and NASA seem to be agreeing on now is that one, the country needs dialogue. Secondly, there is a need for a more inclusive government. And third, that the 2010 constitution is ripe for review. That is a story that is uh, proceeding on page six of uh, the Saturday Nation this morning. Three things that the country um, really needs to uh, have a conversation about. We have seen calls for dialogue from very uh, many stakeholders really calling for dialogue um, among President Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga but also open dialogue for the entire country uh, to iron out the historical problems being faced. Um, the fact that there is need for an expanded executive in an all-inclusive government again has been another debate with many critics saying the one a winner wins all, a winner gets all um, um, layout really of uh, our presidential system or election system uh, is largely to blame for the electoral um, electoral issues or political issues uh, that uh, the country finds itself in today and thirdly and most importantly is that the seven-year-old constitution is now ripe for review remember uh, we've seen the opposition so far calling for a six-month interim government something uh, that uh, Jubilee counterparts say is outside the constitution experts however argue for that interim government to be accommodated within legal means, then a constitutional amendment would be needed. Um, other proposals uh, like uh, a more inclusive government, the um, extension of the presidency, for example, to include uh, whoever comes second in the election is something that also needs a constitutional amendment, a debate that the country is beginning to have as uh, the Supreme Court determines these petitions. All right, and... Um, very quickly, as we wind up with the nation,